Claude Monet is a famous French painter who played a very important part in the movement referred to as Impressionism. Impressionism is an artwork style where short, quick brush strokes were used to create a painting full of bright color and lifelike objects. Claude Monet used his surroundings and environment many times to inspire his paintings and showcase the scenery and where he would be staying. Claude Monet was a key artist during this movement as he created so much art showcasing the many beautiful and different ways that a scene can be depicted with just a shift in color and how much a change in lighting could change the atmosphere of a piece. Monet particularly favored the Impressionist movement as he wanted to capture the essence of the world with bold colors and his short brushstrokes. I believe we can all recall many statements about the messiness and unfinished feeling from others that do not understand or appreciate the Impressionist movement. Monet created masterpieces now appreciated nonetheless, and that we can now, as open-minded individuals, interpret the meaning behind light and atmosphere as depicted in the art series. As Monet experienced his years of travel and own self-discoveries, we can learn to move along in life with him and feel the different scenery through the way it is painted and the way shorter brush strokes are positioned around items and the way that the direction changes to separate stationary from moving. We can also observe how appreciative Monet is of nature and the life surrounding himself. He never fails to capture the beautiful nature, such as the garden and the water lilies, as he has a full collection of them. Even the Rouen Cathedral is pleasing to the eye through his artwork, as we can see a building translated into emotion by art, and the audience can be transported into different atmospheres by the change of a color palette. We move on to observe Woman with a Parasol, Madame Monet and her son, 1875. A rather familiar artist known as Manet assists Monet in lodging in Argentile, late 1871. This assisted Monet in creating a beautiful landscape painting as favored by the Impressionist movement, along with Monet himself. His wife and son are pictured as seen on a stroll through the beautiful green grass and plants that reach up along his wife's dress. They are presented in a more casual manner and it feels as though we are sucked into real life and appreciation by Monet. On Madame Monet's face, we see rather not a smile as a sign of expected capture, rather a face of interruption and response to a beckoning call. We see the same interrupted face on their son as well. Madame Monet's parasol is a bright green color, almost matching the bright green grass to showcase the sunny summer day with the summer breeze just twirling around her face. Monet geniusly uses bright colors and swirled brushstrokes to show the delicateness of a warm moment like this and states against the traditional blended and still style of official and well-mannered portraits done before this movement. It is Monet letting his audience take a look into the casual moments of his own life and making it as be beautiful as it should be recognized. I now introduce you to Edgar Degas, who was a 19th century French Impressionist painter and sculptor. Degas' work made a big impression on many well-known artists, including Pablo Picasso. Degas preferred to call himself a realist or independent rather than using the label Impressionist. He enjoyed using pastels in his early years and he was not a fan of landscapes, but he did enjoy painting portraits. His strokes were very precise and it seemed as if they were planned ahead before the bristles of the brush even touched the canvas. Degas liked to experiment with his artwork by drawing with charcoal, painting with oil and pastels in one piece, and messing around with the texture of paintings by adding liquid fixative to his pastel. Degas was introduced to Impressionism by Edouard Manet and later gave up pursuing his academic aspirations. In 1868, Degas became a part of a group of artists that would gather at the Café Grubois to discuss artists engaging in the modern world. The group consisted of artists like Manet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Claude Monet, and Alfred Sisley. Years later, in 1873, Degas, along with Monet and other paintings, formed the Society of Independent Artists. This group would go on to be known as the Impressionists. They held multiple expression, impressionist exhibits where Degas would paint portraits of modern women. Some people would say that the women that Degas painted were ugly, while others admired how real he portrayed the women. 
By the 1880s, Degas, I'd say, became to, began to fail, and it shifted his whole art technique. He began to use more vibrant colors instead of using pastel and would focus less on his precision of light, line placement. Degas enjoyed painting ballet dancers. He really focused on the artificial lighting that the stage lights provided and the texture of the costumes the dancers wore. He would use unusual viewpoints of the ballerinas and paint them off guard in awkward positions to strip them of their elegance and charm. In the painting, the three dancers be uh, Degas paints three ballerinas with pastel blue skirts and red blouses. The way that he painted his painting makes the artwork look blurry and dreamlike. He stroked his brush from left to right on the floor, making it look like the ballerinas were standing on grass. He painted all the blue in the piece going vertically and in lines, making the skirts look like the bottom of a broom. He added hints of yellow or orange to the top of the dancers' heads and on their shoulders to portray the glimmer of the stage lights on them. The landscape background of the painting has a lot of green and brown, making it look like the ballerinas are outside near trees, but it looks grainy and out of focus, so you can't make out what you're looking at. You cannot make out the features of the women's faces, but you can tell that they are moving to the right because of the way their heads and feet are pointing to the right. Their toes are pointed, and they look like they may be defending themselves from whatever she is looking at. The arm placement of the last ballerina makes her look like she is walking to the right with determination. She has one hand on her hip and the other one behind her in the air as if she was halfway through throwing a baseball.